Welcome to this very special edition of the KJ Masterclass Live, the show which ensures that you profit from your time spent here with experts, either through the industry insights, information, or simply learning from them. And today we have Darlene Green. She is a stem cell technology consultant, and we'll be talking to her about stem cell technology. Welcome to the show, Darlene. Thank you, AJ. It's an honor to be here. You are welcome to the show. You are welcome to India in this online form. And I'm sure not just in India, but a lot of people across the globe will benefit from what we'll be trying to understand from you about stem cell technology. So my first question to you, uh, Darlene, is that, you know, stem cell technology has been talked about for a long, quite a bit of time now. And over the years, I've seen earlier that there used to be a lot of talk about it. People used to say it is the cure for a lot of things. Now, suddenly, a lot of this conversation, at least I have not uh, seen those things happening, maybe because of COVID, less, uh, less number of newspapers that I read, or maybe even on online, I don't come across much talk about stem cell. So you, when, when I came across your, uh, your profile and understood, then I thought, let me talk to you about all those things and try to understand for the audience. Is stem cell technology gone? Is it something new happening? So help us understand why there was this lull, why you are talking now, and what is it that stem cell technology today is all about? Great questions, AJ. And I, I would tell you, uh, part of that, in at least I can speak to in the United States, is the Federal Drug Administration just came down and said, stem cells, even the ones in your own body, are a drug. So in the United States, I'm not allowed to talk about uh, the technology elevating, activating, and rejuvenating my stem cells. I can talk about the fact that this technology that I'm using uh, to help my husband with Alzheimer's is elevating, activating uh, a copper peptide, and the copper peptide activates and elevates that stem cell. In India and outside of the United States, I can say this patch elevates and activates your stem cells. So. That's part of it is there's just a clamp down. They want to own stem cells by the FDA. They want to make sure that they have control of that. And so they've kind of put a gag order a little bit on it, which is very frustrating um, for some of us that, you know, I went researching uh, for stem cells because when you have early Alzheimer's, there's not a lot of good options, right? And my husband was diagnosed a few years ago. His decline was precipitous. Uh, we did go out of country to get IV stem cells. And those are very controversial, right? The, the placenta stem cells and who's, where they come from? Are they real? Are they fresh? Um, do they do anything? We did that four times in a year at very, very high cost. Um, we didn't see any benefits. So we tried other modalities uh, for him from hyperbaric chamber to ozone therapy. Nothing really worked. And I when I was then you know, introduced to this, this patch, this photobiomodulation, non-transdermal patch that works to elevate and activate your own stem cells, I was just dumbstruck. Where was this when I needed this a couple of years ago? Um, the gag order may have had something to do with it. I don't know, but I will tell you, um, I'm a little upset about the fact that I didn't know about it. And I'm on a mission to make sure anybody who's got any kind of health situation. There's nothing that stem cells can't do. That's your body's raw material. That is what made you to begin with. They they are the things that came together and created your brain and your body. They can reduce inflammation. They can become a bone, tissue, cartilage, muscle, any part of you. And so there's really nothing that they can't do. And what I've learned in my research and studies around stem cell is that when you're 30 you half of your stem cells are dormant. And when you're 60, they're almost all dormant. Now they're in there, they're floating around, but they're not doing anything for you. They're they're you know, that's why we're aging faster. And that's why we're healing more slowly. So when when you learn about uh, being able to elevate and activate your own stem cells, and it's safe, and it's, there's no contraindications, and it can be done with any medicine, and it helps with everything every kind of anything from you know, cancer to neurological diseases to autism to diabetes. I mean, you name it, um, this is something that's helping people right now and it's affordable and easy. Okay, 
Okay, darling. Let me let me look at it. I I understand it has helped. Uh, you you see that it is helpful. But from the audience perspective, on the from the people who listen to this, what you are saying, we have to look at it from a uh, from a much more in depth perspective. And from that perspective, first I need to understand uh, that uh, you are not a doctor. Am I right? No, I'm not. I um. I am a very dedicated wife. Uh, I have been in the field of technology and an executive leader for 26 years. I was a Navy, United States Navy commander, three commanding officer tours. I oversaw 1,200 people. Um, I care about people. It's in my DNA. Um, I'm not a person who would have gone on a podcast. I posted like twice on Facebook, once when, my God, when one daughter graduated from the Air Force Academy and another time when my daughter graduated from the Naval Academy. Um, I just did not do this kind of thing. But I'm very passionate about this because uh, look, let me just tell you what happened to my husband in the first week. So he was at a place in his life where after all of these modalities, nothing had worked and he was a shell of, him, of his former self. He was sleeping all day. I mean, three and a half hours of the day, falling asleep at night, completely disengaged from conversation. It was just too hard for him. If he did engage, he was like three conversations behind. Um, he was asking me the same question over and over again, which is very normal for uh, Alzheimer's, right? But the sad part for me was he'd lost his personality. He was no longer even trying to be funny. And that was that was just devastating to me. In the very first week of using a, this, this patch, this X39 patch, um, he was not napping at all. He did not fall asleep. He was chattier. It was like a dam broke. And he was just talking, talking, talking. He was with it. He was responding appropriately. He was in conversation. And he wasn't asking me the same questions over and over again. But even moreover, he was back to his fun and flirty personality. So I got my husband back. And it stayed. And over time, more good things have happened from regaining the ability to whistle and drum to the beat to regaining his sense of smell that he lost 15 years ago. So, I mean, when... No, not a doctor. And you don't, you don't have to be a doctor. You don't have to get a prescription. You don't have to have, um, you know, any, you can just be someone who listens to testimonials or someone who wants to dive into the science. There are over 90 clinical studies, many double blind placebo controlled studies that people can look into. If you Googled PubMed, AJ, if you Googled GHK, it's a very well-researched peptide. It's probably the most influential peptide in your body. And GHK has been usually injected in the body. Um, there's a doctor that injected it four times in a day, but it didn't elevate the body's GHK the way one, one patch does in one day. But if you look up what are the benefits of GHK, there are even books written about GHKCU. So this is How to Reverse Aging by Dr. John Harmon, a comprehensive guide. He'll talk about, you can get it in injection form, you can get it in um, cream, or you can get it in this patch. So what, what that will show you is it, at GHKCU activates and elevates your stem cells. It protects lungs, okay. brain, cancer. All of these things um, are very well researched and studied. Right, right, Arvin. I understand that it has helped in your case, and I, and I wish that it keeps on helping. But for the audience, we have to also understand that if it is a clinically proven, and that is where you know, because I, I wish more and more doctors are able to talk why is the US FDA not approving it in a way that you talk about it? How should people understand? Secondly, a normal person, you know, you understand, okay, stem cell technology, a lot of research is still going on. Earlier, people were talking about a different sort of, uh, you know, stem cells. If I got, I got also confused what they are talking about because neither I'm a doctor, neither in that sense. Uh, I So one for, for a simple person. Second thing you are talking about, you know, that that in terms of, you know, what exactly it is, what is the difference between a normal people understand stem cell and you're talking about a patch, that one thing is not impact impacting and the other thing is impacting. So why is the USFDA when it can keep on allowing weight loss medicines and all those things? Obviously, they are there are very smart people within that system. They must be having some caution. I just want to understand purely from an educational point of view, all the sides, so that people just do not consider whatever one is saying. Plus, you are saying you are representing a company here, if I understand. And if, if you are, correct me if I'm wrong, 
if you are uh, not then correct me if you are if you are then also because you have got the patch in your hand let there be as much transparency let their people understand it and then get the right advice from their uh, from their healthcare practitioner from their doctors because it is not just a, you know some some chocolate that you go and buy it from the market and 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 take it so they have to be fully informed because this is something related to medicine yeah i uh, excellent questions aj and i would i would start with the fact that the company will tell you that lifeway products are not intended to cure treat diagnose or prevent disease so this is because no medicine is going into your body it is in the wellness category of a Band-Aid. Um, it is the, you know, if I could just divert a second and explain how it works, it might be helpful to understand why the FDA is, um, it is FDA compliant, um, right? But it's not medicine. Um, and it's not medicine because all it's doing is sort of acting like a little mirror to reflect our body's own light back into us at a very specific wavelength. If you walk outside, AJ, and you're in the sun, your body makes vitamin D or melanin, like for a suntan, and that's light therapy. It's been around 5,000 years. And if I looked at you with night vision goggles, I would see light inside of you. So this is like a little mirror reflecting light back into your body at a very specific wavelength that elevates, that has your body elevating its own peptide. So there are doctors very involved in this. In fact, there's a, an anesthesiologist who's been in a you know 40 year doctor who will tell you this is the most amazing and significant medical breakthrough in his lifetime. I have two doctors who are using the patches. I have a third one who's about to start using the, the patches. So there are a lot. In fact, I, at one point I heard 60% of the company is actually practitioners, but um, it takes an open-minded doctor and some are not. Most of our Western medicine doctors are not as open-minded as your doctors, to be quite frank. They are schooled in, um, in curriculum that has been built by pharmaceutical companies. They learn about drugs and they learn about surgery, and that's kind of it. They don't actually learn about nutrition. They don't really learn about wellness and prevention in the same way. They're like a response team. So I think that that's part of it. When you wanna understand why, say, did IV stem cells not work and why would this work? Well, inflammation eats stem cells. So it could have been that um, the inflammation ate up the stem cells that we did get in the IV. It could have been that there weren't really stem cells in that IV. It could have been that they were old or dead um, because they die. There's a very big difference between bringing somebody else's stem cells, which we don't even know how healthy they are, into our body. There's even some moral issues there. And elevating our own, our own stem cells in our own body know what to do. They know where to go. Um, I would love to tell them, go right to my husband's brain, but they may say, oh, Darlene, we really need to go to Jim's heart first because you don't even know if there's a heart issue. So that's the difference. And what people are finding is most people feel and see the difference for them in three to six weeks. Um, this gentleman that wrote this book, he had a right branch bundle blockage in his heart. And after 14 months, that right branch bundle blockage went away. There is no medicine or cure that will do that. And so when you look at like things like the double blind placebo control studies, for example, here is one where the um, in six weeks, the cardiovascular system began to act as if it were functioning eight weeks younger. That's a double blind placebo control study that anybody can look at on the website. There's also a brain study with EEGs, you know, showing brain mapping the first brain before uh, actually wearing the patch shows redness and inflammation and hypercoherence. It's like a it's like a traffic jam. And I've been in Indian traffic and it's not pretty. <laughs> so um, you know, it's it's really not functioning very well. It's ADHD, it's PTSD, it's anxiety. And after three weeks on the patch, the EEG looks entirely different. And you see all these colors and this color map and every and people are reporting they feel different. And then at session three at the six week point, you have a whole new map. And the and the findings of that study actually stated Yes, it increased GHKCU. Yes, it supported cell and nerve regeneration. It balanced the brain, it improved coherence, it improved the nervous system, lowered anxiety, all of these things decreased brain inflammation. I mean, I've always thought of PTSD and depression and anxiety as something I needed to white knuckle through and talk therapy and figure out a way to, you know, deep breathe and do all these things. I never thought about, hey, maybe I need to get rid of the inflammation in my brain. Maybe I need to improve the gut brain access actually. So when you, when you wear this and it's doing these things and it's improving your memory and your focus, I mean, I got to see that not only in my husband, 
but I got to experience it myself because I was in a state of depression. My husband had Alzheimer's. I'd broken my foot. I was in pain for five months. I'd have to ask him for a glass of ice water and he would be like, I don't even know what you're saying to me right now. And I don't know how to get that for you. So I was really sad and I wanted to cry every single day. And after wearing the patch, it just lifted my depression in a way that I can't even describe. I, I was able to feel gratitude for my every day that I did have with him. And I was able to find joy again. And there are so many people hurting in the world. And I was out of pain. Let's talk about pain because pain management is hard. And I'm not somebody that does well with Percocet or Vicodin or morphine. Those don't work for me. And there, and we have a patch that takes out of pain. It's, it's not a stem cell activation patch. There's a lineup of patches. This one blocks uh, pain and gets energy flowing. Pain is actually blocked energy. So there are people who are addicted to drugs and are and can't use um, drugs or who need uh, some kind of pain relief without drugs because all drugs have some kind of complicating effect and they and that we can do that. And this this helped me so much that I feel like it's criminal that that people don't know about it. Um, it's we're in over 70 countries, uh, AJ. Uh, we're distributed in over 70 countries and it is so safe and trusted that in the 2008 Olympics, over 300 Olympic athletes were wearing these patches. In fact, I just heard I, from Ivory Sully, who's this very famous NFL player, um, five-time outstanding special teams player of the year, that Tom Brady is wearing these patches. So there's a reason that um, people trust them. And it's not um, it's not related to the FDA. I mean, not many people trust anything the FDA does today in the United States. Um, I, I'm, I'm one of them. I think that there have been very significant breaches of trust in the last few years and um the fact that they they don't really they don't really I mean, their their discussion and their ownership of stem cells the words stem cells that's not just related to our company any company at all that has anything to do with stem cells can't use stem cell wording right now um unless you're talking outside of the united states so it's hard it's a if hopefully that did that help answer the question that you asked aj i'm i'm trying to get as deep into for the audience as i said it's a I do not want any general person to get the wrong impression about anything. As I said, you are free to explain, but I don't want to be looking as if we are endorsing anything, you know? Oh, and I that do. Is the, that is, yeah, and that is the point of this whole, you know, trying to understand. Why is it the, the US FDA not approving? Is it the lack of data? What is the amount is of data you people have? It isn't that they're not approving. We haven't submitted it for approval to the FDA because we, what we've submitted it to is for them for it's an FDA compliant um, wellness product in the general wellness category. It is FDA compliant. Um, that's all it needs to be to be produced. It's produced in a laboratory that is medical grade, but um, we don't need um, it's just like a band aid. It's just there's no medicine. We don't want to be in the world of pharmaceutical drugs. We don't have to go into that kind of field to be effective or to be shared or to be um, or to be purchased. Uh, there, there's a reason that this company has exploded in growth in the last four years, and this patch is it over 20 times. Um, that's just because people are talking about it. But the FDA doesn't control uh, this type of, of patch, and they don't need to. So what what is the hassle? Why are not why is the media not talking about it? The, the, the larger media, not I'm talking about the yes. some Western people may not talk about it, but if it is well, such a almost like a miracle cure, if you the way you are you know saying it, yes. then why is the world not accepting it that way? Because yeah. people need some sort of a thing like this, and nobody will be able to uh you know avoid it if it's an idea whose time has come. So I would tell you that, you, you know, in the United States, we can't even say that vitamin C is good for the immune system and can help you prevent a virus without it getting taken off. Right. Um, it, it has been on. I've seen television shows with people talking about the patches. Suzanne Summers actually wrote in six of her books about the patches because they were helping her through her cancer process. Um, I have seen uh, doctors, uh, uh, worldwide renowned doctors and uh, plastic surgeons that have been featured on the Dr. Oz show or the doctors who talk about the fact that they have their, their patients start three months before and then six months after. And the difference is like a 40 percent faster healing. But most of our and this is Darlene's opinion, not the companies, but I believe most of our media are owned and in bed with our big pharma. And that's in bed with with the government and all of that 
I mean, they're not wanting to go against big pharma on, a, on something that can help prevent or heal or help your body optimize itself in a way that, that keeps you off of drugs. Um, they're paid for. Look at all the drug advertisements all day long on, on television. Um, and they, they want people to keep buying their drugs. So that's my opinion um, because I, I, this is, again, part of why I was upset. Why I did a lot of research in looking for something for my husband. Um, this is the only thing that made a difference, and it made a tremendous difference for him and for me. Uh, and and why why is it not on the front page of every newspaper and in the in the media and on the television? And I don't get it, and I don't understand. And it's enough to put me on a mission to help share the word because. Um, and, and and even though I'm not the kind of person that that even wants to do that, <laughs> I just your, feel your, no. yours is a, darling. Yours is a company. There are smart people there. If they are smart enough to create a thing like that. There must be smart people who can, who know how to get a breakthrough and reach the public. We have got social media. We have got so many media advertising, all sort of marketing campaigns. Nobody will believe you that they are not able to get and reach to the right audience and and, and the right people who actually need this so-called miracle, miracle, you know, cure. Well, they are getting to enough people where they've gone from thirty million a year to. 30 million a month. I mean, the 20 times growth in four years suggests they are reaching people. I think that they, um, you know, it's a direct sales company. So there's a business opportunity behind it for anybody who would like to try the patches, but there's, um, you know, they're going about it in a way that is, you know, podcasters, YouTube videos. Uh, there are telegram, there's literally uh, somebody telling their testimony and their story about what's happened for them every single night of the week. You can join and listen to someone talking about how it's helped their uh, their health and wellness. Uh, it's, it's typically something, if it was sitting on a shelf, the owner actually said, if I put this on a shelf in GNC, no one's going to buy it. No one's going to believe it. So it's better to have somebody telling their story of how it helped their, their health than it is to just have it sitting on a shelf or, or, or using advertisement on television. They've made a decision not to go that route. Okay. Okay, darling. Let's, let's understand it from this point of view. What is the critical cure? Like uh, your husband had a difficult time with uh, whatever he was suffering with. And then you found this. A lot of other people might. So one is that part. The other is the cosmetic part. That you will look younger. You will look this so it makes it is it is almost like uh, tell, taking away people from their day to day life and telling them you know that you you have an easy way to do it like your weight loss pill my personal opinion is that you know it becomes too simplistic then people will think you know why 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 to take so much of time in gym why to go there just pop the pills a weight loss pill makes sense for people who do not have any other option who do not who have problems with weight obesity and that has nothing to do with whether they are exercising enough or not. That's another case. But to take it as a lifestyle, that is people's choice. I have nothing no control about that. But I have my own uh, opinion on that. Is it that you people are making it look like much more of a lifestyle for patch or product it is and less of curing the critical illness? How do you look at this part of, you know, uh, uh, of, the, of the options or that you are uh, projecting for uh, to the people, whoever you are targeting. Yeah, I would say it's all of that. One, one of the things that the company does stress is well wellness, right? From health perspective of drinking a lot of water, half your body weight in ounces of water, making sure you are getting good exercise, eating healthy, all of those things are a part of our culture. Um, but, but, you know, I will tell you that some of the problem with weight loss is a, inflammation in your gut. Some of the problem is hormone imbalance. Uh, stem cells act and, and the, the ability to go in and activate and elevate GHKCU can help balance those hormones. I mean, I was not able to lose weight at 58 postmenopausal. You know, I, I was not able to lose weight. I, I don't know why I was doing all the right things. We don't even have any crap in this house. So it's all clean eating. I was exercising, but it wasn't coming off. Um, but we have studies that show in just two months, uh, people are losing as much as, you know, four and 5% body fat and, and not, I mean, and I mean like increased muscle mass and reduced body fat so that they're going into a much healthier health risk location. 
Um, yes, they look younger and you can look on the website and see how much people younger. I, I had a, a pretty substantial sun age spot on my face that sort of disappeared. People's scars look better. Um, but the outside of how we look, the wrinkles and the fine lines, you know, yes, that's important, but it's really a reflection of how much collagen is in our inner cells, in our whole body. And so, you know, collagen is the number one peptide, I would say that collagen is the most abundant protein in your body. So the reflection of wrinkles and lines may be that you don't have enough collagen in all of your cells throughout your body. And I think that that it's, this is, this is um, miraculous. Uh, it is better than any pill people are taking to try to lose weight because it's going to the root of what's causing you to not lose weight. Why isn't your body in balance to begin with? And maybe that's your brain. I will tell you, I don't think I've had a healthy relationship with food since high school. I just am a sugar addict or salt. I just want one or the other. And I'm finally not doing that. I'm finally feeling like this calmness and normalcy around my relationship with food. I eat when I'm hungry. I stop when I'm satiated, satiated. And, and that's just lovely. That is a lovely, lovely thing. I'm not stress eating and emotional eating. Maybe that's my lower anxiety. I don't really understand how it's working or, or, or why it's working as well as it's working, but I've been on a million different programs to try. And this is the one that like, without really trying to lose weight, 10 pounds dropped off in, in a couple of months. And my pharmacist friend's mother-in-law dropped 40 pounds in like six weeks. So there are people losing weight. There are people getting their hair growth back. My husband's bald spot closed in um, and his, his hair is coming in chestnut brown. He's never had chestnut brown hair. It's been blonde or gray as long as I've known him. So, you know, it, it is working. It is making a difference. Um, and it, I, I know that it sounds too good to be true. And I, I was a skeptic myself. My One of my dear friends was a skeptic and she's had Parkinson's since she was five. She's tremored violently. She could not hold a glass of ice water. She was the biggest skeptic on the planet. She's like, are you kidding me? This little thing is going to make a difference. Well, in three weeks, this little thing stopped her tremors and she can now hold a martini glass filled with water and she's eating without having to hold her hand. So food is not flying off of a fork anymore. And she's just a huge proponent now because it's changed her life. Right. Right, darling. Let's look at it this way. Have you, uh, do you know of any case that had any side effects of this? Has yes. the company ever told you about this? No, I, so I will tell you, the company will say there are no side effects um, and there are no contraindications. But what I will tell you is what I have seen in people that have used the patch is occasionally detoxification symptoms. One of the things that the X39 patch does is it, it elevates your glutathione levels. Now, glutathione is the most, um, it's your body's master antioxidant, but it's also your detoxification pathway. So high levels of glutathione are excellent for immune system. Um, the people that live the longest in the world have the highest levels of glutathione. So when this is raising your glutathione levels by 30% already, what that's going to do is start dumping toxins out of your lymph nodes and out of your fat, right? And that's going to start flushing in your body. So if you're not drinking enough water and if you don't have electrolytes, you may find some negative symptoms. You might feel fatigue or a headache um, or, or even some nausea. But if you drink more water and you get that flushed out of your system, then you're fine. But it just sort of shows it's, it's working. It's getting those toxins out of your body. That's the, um, that's the only real negative I've seen. Uh, there are people who have alert allergies to Band-Aids. You actually don't have to have it on your skin. It can be on the outside of your clothing, on the outside of a sweatshirt. Uh, so people with sensory issues or maybe the sticky, um, they're, if they're allergic to something that's like a Band-Aid, um, they don't have to actually have it touch their skin. Uh, and and you only wear it, you wear it 12 hours on and then you take it off and you throw it away and you put on a brand new one uh, every day. And and like I said, AJ, in, you know, I'm not going to say anybody can afford it because, you know, I, that's not true. Not everybody, it's you know, cost is relative. But when I was spending $10,000 for an IV out of country, and you compare that to $99 for a one month supply, $99, I mean, that is much more reasonable, particularly when it's having such these, these enormous effects, there is a money back guarantee. So, you know, it, it is a, an opportunity. I mean, what do you have to lose? There's nothing to lose to trying it for um, for balancing all of the parts of your body to optimize your health, whatever that might be, whether that's maybe you need deep sleep. Um, that was my husband's deep sleep went from 15 minutes, which we had tried everything, red lights, um, uh, sleeping supplements, uh, making sure we stopped eating three hours before bed, eyes on the morning sun, grounding, you name it. We were trying to get his deep sleep 
uh, to a better stage because that's when the brain detoxifies. But guess what? 15 minutes was how much deep sleep he was getting. In week two on the patches, he got an hour and 27 minutes of deep sleep. And I just almost cried because I'm like, yay, we're finally getting those toxins out of his brain in that deep sleep. So, you know, there are people that need this and, and there are going to be people who say, that's just, you know, I, I don't believe it. And I, I, it's not my job. I don't, I, I'm not, it's not my job to convince anybody. It's if, if for me, my mission is to share it because I wish somebody would have shared it with me. Um, I would have tried it and we would have been way ahead of the game if we would have started this two years ago. Right, right. See, people who have been, you know, many have grown up uh, with the mainstream discussion about stem cell technology. Your stem cell technology is a bit, you know, is a offshoot or maybe of that sort of a thing. So a lot of these people would want to understand what is happening with the mainstream stem cell technology discussion. And perhaps that is what people uh, are moving with that flow and would want to have as much information. But is it in, in, in your case, in, in whatever uh, you are talking on about this patch, who is it not for? Who is it? Who is the not fit candidate for this? It's a very good question, AJ. So I would tell you the only person that really has to be really careful are people who have an organ transplant. Uh, they have an organ in their body that is not their own. Um, a liver, a kidney, a heart, something else, right? That because it's going to boost the immune system so dramatically, and there, those folks are typically on an immune suppressant uh, drug because they don't want the immune system to get so high that it attacks that that alien um, organ. So those folks, although I'll tell you, there are people that are taking an on X thirty nine even though they have an organ transplant because they're desperate and they're and they're people that have really that saved their lives, right? Um, there are a lot of people whose lives have been saved. I have a, a friend who was at, at the end stage of uh, leukemia, end stage leukemia. And they were telling him he was in bed, round the clock in pain. And Robert was being told, we're going to give you a pill. It's going to kill you, but it will improve your quality of life until you die. And um, and my friend Dina said, please don't do that. Please take these patches. Just try it. Well, two days he was out of bed, out of pain, running around. In two weeks he was traveling and now he's living this very normal, high quality life with he's donated his wheelchair, he's donated his walker, his white cell count dropped. Um, you know, there aren't enough people who have had the option of an alternate approach. You're you're only given being told most often by your primary doctor or your Western medicine doctor, you know, this pill, that pill. Uh, and those really just they hit symptoms. Nothing is going to the root. You know, your body is so wise. Um, and I would say every other world of medicine except Western medicine uh, does a better job of understanding the wisdom of the body and honoring that wisdom, whether that's acupressural and acupunctural points and energy meridians or, or just light um, and understand light therapy, sound therapy, all of it. Um, so I think, I think if we can, I, I'll, I just want to make sure people feel the hope. And I had no hope. I was basically told Yes, this is where he is with his Alzheimer's. Come back in a year. We'll see how much he's declined. The death rate is five to eight years, five to 10 years for people that with early Alzheimer's. There's nothing we can do. In fact, the only a recent drug that came out for Alzheimer's has 50% brain bleed in people that have my husband's APOE44 type. That's not an option. So um, there are a lot of people living in a world with no hope. Um, they're dealing with parents that have Alzheimer's or friends or family or loved ones. Uh, there are kids that have autism. My girlfriend who has a child with a rare genetic disorder, and she's the one who introduced me to this. Her daughter is 16 years old, kindergarten level academically. In 15 days, she had a new child, calm, never had to take the ADHD menace again, not argumentative. In five weeks, her academic scores went from kindergarten to upper fourth to upper third grade, lower fourth grade. And by uh, nine months, her executive functioning had become that of a 16 year old where it had not registered um, nine months before. So there are miracles happening for every kind of person um, that that no other type of drug or anything can offer. Absolutely, absolutely. I, it is good to see with you with so much of hope and I hope that uh, hope gets transferred or translated into hopes for so many others, but then there is a process to it. And because it is related to health, 
So there will be many, many questions from every one of them. And because it is related to health, people have to be cautious also. That's the right way. And, to, and that is the best way to use the best experts to help them understand this. You have been able to explain something that you have experienced. A lot of other people have their own way of understanding things. And I hope with, with time, there is much more discussion about things that are there. And then people gain, gain that understanding and knowledge to decide whether they want to try it out with whatever, you know, relevant guidance that they have in their own countries or communities. Be that as it may, I'm sure these things, as I said, uh, you know, to quote Victor Hugo, uh, nobody, uh, nobody can stop an idea whose time has come. So if the idea, if this idea's time has come, I'm sure people will, uh, will have to accept it. Everyone will have to accept it. Uh, be that as it may, as I said, for those people who want to understand about it from you right now, what is the best way for them to connect with you and know more about whatever we have talked about, the STEM cell technology. Yeah, thank you, AJ. So they can go to the website, I am reverse aging. It's .com, I-A-M-R-E-V-E-R-S-E-A-G-I-N-G.com. And on that website, I am reverse aging.com, you can find the studies, the 90 clinical studies. You can dive in and read them yourself. You can, um, you can look at the patents. Uh, you can read um, information on how this uh, X39 was developed. You can see videos of the, uh, the owner and founder and inventor talking about how they work. How does photobiomodulation work? You can see them talking. In fact, he's got a video where he talks to practitioners, uh, specifically to practitioners in medical jargon that's way over my head. Um, you can also see um, see examples of it being used on animals. There's a whole line for veterinarians and people that own pets um, to get them out of pain. And and so you can you there's more in there. There's there's testimonies from people that are in the NFL and and talks from doctors, cardiologists to anesthesiologists. You know you'll you'll be able to dive in. There's more than you could possibly look at. You'll see pictures. Um, and you can you can reach out to me. You can purchase product there, but you can also reach out to me, and I can arrange for you to sit and have um, have a conversation, a Zoom conversation with a doctor who will answer your questions. Um, and and so if you if if you have any you know concerns, you can ask a doctor who has been uh, familiar and did a lot of research on this product before uh, before putting her family on it because she had a daughter with a brain bleed. Um, so. Yeah, there's there's more information than you can shake a stick at, and um, you know some people want to hear the stories, and other people want to look at the science. And I kind of was into both. Right. With this, it's a wrap on this very special edition of the KJ Masterclass Live. Thank you so much indeed for joining us. Thank you, AJ.